brought to you by the one and only Hookah John. Hey everyone, it's John with hookahjohn.com and this video might hurt your feelings a little bit. We're gonna show you how to pack a bowl and how simple it is. All right, this is must have. Just got in to Hookah John this week and a lot of people are like, how do I pack this tobacco? How do I pack that tobacco? It is not that difficult, people. Let me show you. You know what? I don't even know. I've packed this like once or twice. One time I was in the Czech Republic and they said they wanted me and the other social media guys from Germany to pack bowls and all this stuff. And I was like, yeah, all right. And then I'm like, deep down, I was like, oh shit, I hope it comes out. I've never packed it before, but it's simple. Let me show you. Take it. First of all, get yourself a work bund fork. These are fun. You can use any fork, people but these are awesome, handmade in Russia. Okay, let's check out this consistency and texture of must have. I chose lemon lime. I'm not gonna do a mix like the creative Russian lounge. And when I say Russian too, when it comes to hookah, it also has to do with the neighboring countries like Ukraine, like Kazakhstan, like um, some of the other neighbors, Tajikistan, Tajikistan, or whatever it's called, uh, even Azerbaijan, all these neighboring Slavic countries. You guys want me to do the Slavic slouch right now? I think there's a picture of me doing that. Okay, so what you do, you get, th so that's what I mean by those countries, okay? When I say Russian hookah, because it's, uh, they've done amazing things with hookah. Okay, so I've stirred it up. It's all pretty even. Now, how do I pack it? Now, must have lasts a long time, which is a good thing. So you don't need a lot. So I pulled out a Strymony for this video. A Hookah John Strymony. That's your Trimony bowl, right? but it's a little bit more shallow. So I don't want to use a ton of tobacco on this because it's going to last. Okay, so I'm just going to put some in there. Spread it out a little evenly. Okay, you got this. It's not that hard. It's not that difficult. Now, I don't want to discount what uh, Russian and again, surrounding country, uh, their hookah lounges do because they're very creative and they're good at what they do. Okay, so I want to, um, it, it may be easy to do it at home, but those guys are b beyond advanced and they take a lot of time and they're very good. Okay, Fabian, what do you think? That's good enough? Is that good enough? You don't like this pack? Yeah, it's good. I, I don't like this pack either. It it's looks perfect. a little messy, but you know what? I'm gonna use it anyways, because what we're gonna do is use a Lotus and we wanna make sure just the knobs hit. You don't wanna s pack it real high and then have your flat part of the Lotus hit. So it's just gonna go like that. So just your knobs are gonna hit barely make contact with this. Now let's go over here and I'm gonna do something that Cloud Lotus doesn't like. Follow me, follow me, let's go. Maybe I'll speed this part up, maybe I won't. My coals are almost done. They're not 100% done, but I'm gonna throw this on and preheat the Lotus, which you're not supposed to do, okay? So I'm gonna show you what we do afterwards. This needs a minute, so go ahead and pause this and we'll get these on. I'll show you what I do once these are lit. All right, so here we are. I just took these off of the burner and put them into the Lotus. And this is what we're gonna do. Do not tell Cloud, people at Cloud that I do this. There's my packed bowl. I got three megas on here. Is it gonna sizzle? A tiny bit. Okay, now there's different ways. I don't know what kind of heat management that it likes, but I see people in Russia doing different things. Sometimes they'll just put two. Sometimes they'll put three the way they were. Sometimes they do these, they call them Mickey Mouse ears. Let's do that Mickey Mouse ears. And go ahead, Fabian, you ever use that Mickey Mouse ear style? Mm, yeah, but two inside though. Like two inside, in that doesn't make Mickey Mouse, does it? Does it make the Mickey Mouse oh, style? Do you see what I'm talking four about? Four coals. With four coals? Yeah. All right, don't trip, you're walking backwards. All right. Now, I can tell it's a little hot already. So I'm probably gonna take one down. Let's throw this off and see, do the, ooh, it's smoking. So we're gonna take one off. Let, spark hit me. Let's see the first puff on this. All right, throw that on to a Hukajan Saoka, Saoka, and get our first puff going. Let's see. People always say that packing a bowl is like, they always think that it's difficult. It's not. Do what I just did. Did I make it look that hard? No. First puff and perfect. All right. Why do people think that they're always like performing miracles while packing a bowl? 
It's not that difficult, people. You got this. You can do it. Look at what I did. I was barely paying attention. Just get it kind of even, kind of loose and fluffy for this. Sometimes you have these methods of light, fluff, semi, dense, that packable, all right? Now talking about the flavor on this, it's pretty good. This is my type of flavor. Now people come up with mixes. The Russians do an amazing job at mixing three and four flavors at a time to come up with like a cocktail or something. And it's really, really good every time. When I go into a lounge, I just say, pack me whatever you, you want. Just use some citrus, some mint, something like that, some cooling. In Russia, they don't call it mint. They call it, um, what's the word they use? Ice, I think they say, would you like ice? I'm like, no, I don't want ice in my base. They're like, you said like mint, ice. I'm like, oh yeah, 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 ice, ice. I want ice, yeah. So they say ice for uh, cooling down the bowl, not the base. They don't put ice in there. Although some Russians, are, this is pretty good, baby. You, sh you want to try this? Let me get you a mouth tip. Yeah. I'm going to give the cameraman, here. Let me get you a tip right here. Uh, here, let me pack this to you. Like Hooka John professional style. Oh, check out the base mat on that. What do you think? Pretty cool. Yeah. Get yourself a base mat. They're for the old lounge and they don't, the lounge just got sold, so not using. What do you think, Fabian? How awesome is that? All right, take the tip, pass it back the hose. This is not your hookah session. This is my hookah session. Take your tip. All right, so awesome. That's like the first time that I packed must have since we, I mean, we just got it today. I would add another coal or maybe go yeah. down like this. And the cool thing about going to Russian hookah lounges, they're always coming by and taking care of your coals. Not like you go to these Middle Eastern places that I go to that I've been to in the past. And you're always like calling the guy, coals, coals, coals. And they come and they give you like a crumb coal and all that. That's why I don't go to lounges. So I want to go over to this hookah lounge. Uh, we actually have a Russian hookah lounge in LA that I want to try for good things. But someone like me doesn't go to hookah lounges that often because I've got all the best products here at the office and at home. I know my stuff is clean. I know how to pack, got the right products, but there are good lounges out there. So should we pause it and come back and let's do 15 minutes. All right, pause. People, it's been 15 minutes. Flavor's going strong. I know it's going to go a lot stronger, but I'm not going to make a super long video. It already is a super long video. Um, so we just waited 15 minutes. Still going good. You got any questions, cameraman? The strength on it. The strength? Yeah, I would call it uh, semi-strong. Um, again, I'm a Tangier smoker primarily and this is good this is all i smoke when i go to when i travel around the world and miami at uh sobi hookah lounge go there i get smoked so well i'm gonna smoke this and i don't know how long it's gonna go for maybe i'll put it in the comments make sure if you're watching this to follow and subscribe and all that junk what else can we talk about the setup the saoka this is the v2 saoka this is a hookah john strymony i've got work button tongs work button fork and we're smoking must have if you haven't been following along if you're just sitting there at home and dazed and confused you know what if I, I didn't take a big puff on that one you know what i found last night i was going through paramount plus and they have uh the, the bar rescue episodes and so there's one like back to the bar series where they go back to the bar like four different bars and this episode's called delusional owners we go back to the bar that i did i have mixed thoughts on that episode um i was on it and um, they didn't want hookah to be at this place, but I went in and we're saying, yeah, hookah doesn't belong, blah, blah, blah. It's ancient history, but it's fun to watch hookah John back in the days on Bar Rescue. I'm sure you can find the I Smell a Rat video somewhere. That's uh, That episode aired, I don't know what year was that, 2014, so nine years ago. Really good, let's check out the purge on the Saoka. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty impressive. All right, you go back to work, I go back to work. Uh, make sure to buy some must-have and everything else you buy hookah. Buy it where? At Hookah John. You heard, bye.